Are you in need of a schedule network diagram template? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to create a schedule network diagram in Excel. And the good news is it's very, very versatile and you can leverage this for all of your projects going forward. Now, if you are short of time, I have made this template available for instant download. So there will be a link in the description down below if you did want to pick that up. That being said, I'm now gonna walk you through exactly how to create this yourself from scratch. Before I do that, I'm just going to open the definitions tab. You may want to pause this video at this point just to remind yourself of what we're looking to achieve here and what everything means. So here you can see the full version of the project network diagram and what each of these letters essentially stands for. And then we've got a definition up above. So with that said, let us now create this schedule network diagram. So the first thing I recommend that you do is just give your document a title. That way it's very clear every single time you open it what you're looking at. And also if you're sharing it with stakeholders, they will know as well. So I've just typed in schedule network diagram in B1. I've increased the font size to about 24 and I'm going to bold that. I'm going to select the full row, so row one, and I'm going to put a darker gray color on. So kind of professional color. And in row two, we're gonna put this as a lighter gray. Now, of course, you can choose your own colors and even your font, depending on your organization's branding or your personal preferences, but this does work quite well. I'm going to type in activities into A2. And in G, we can always move this, but I'm just gonna type in project name and put a semicolon there. And that will give us the ability to differentiate the two different parts of this template. So now what we're going to do is if I select this little backward triangle here, it's going to select every single column and row in the sheet. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make the width of every column around about five. It doesn't have to be precise, but that does work quite well. We are then going to change the row height to about 25. What we're essentially looking for are squares. So there you go, we've got this kind of square look and that will just make uh, the schedule network diagram really, really easy to create and effective. I'm now going to change the row height for uh, row one, just to kind of make that more visible. And I'm also gonna change actually column A, the width to about two, just because we're gonna stop kind of building here, which kind of gives us a little bit of a margin. So let us create the uh, first diagram. So all you need to do here is just type in, I'm going to uh, press caps lock on my keyboard. So ES, so early start, D for duration. I'm going to type in EF. We're going to type in activity here. I'm actually going to put that in lowercase. Just keep the A as capital. Then it's late start, float, and then late finish. Now, the one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select all of this, I'm gonna bold, and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to center, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select, where is it? We're going to look for thick outside borders, and we're gonna do that for every single one. This just kind of makes it pop. And for this row five here for the activity, we want to select B5 through to D5, merge and center then select thick outside borders and then do the same here. So just select that kind of square, thick outside borders, thick outside borders. So you can see that kind of makes it pop and it looks really, really good. Now, as I say, I'm actually gonna move this across because I haven't given myself enough room. Let's just move it to K for now. Now what we're gonna do is select B4 through to LF. I'm going to just make sure that the background is white. There we go. I'm gonna press Control C on my keyboard. I am using a desktop. The Mac shortcut may be different. Essentially, we just wanna copy this. And then I'm going to press Control V here. Now, we're just gonna remove this. We're gonna remove this. Basically, I leave all of this like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically wipe it all out but keep activity. Then I'm gonna select F4 through to H6, Control C. And then I'm just going to create multiple versions of this. So. Control V on my keyboard. Again, that would just be a paste if you're using a Mac. And I'm just creating lots of versions, okay? So we're having these down the side, if you like. So now what we need to do is just type in the numbers. So that'll be activity one, 
two, three, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna do 10 activities for now, but you could just keep going for as many as you're going to need with your schedule network diagram. So we've got eight, I'll do, I'll do 10, so that's nine. I've got one more, control, uh, let's just select this one, control C, control V, and then we'll just put that in like that. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to, now we know kind of we can put this in here. So I wasn't sure how much room we we're going to need. What I'm going to now do is select A2 through to, uh, we'll go through to I2. I'm going to merge and center that and I'm going to bold that. And then I'm going to select column I. And then I'm going to select view and freeze panes. We're going to click the first one. So what that's essentially done is if we were to scroll across, that will just keep that kind of visible at all times. Now, the other thing you could do if you wanted to is you could actually hide these if you if you didn't want them in view at all time. So you could kind of do something like that, right click and put hide, and then it would only kind of show the diagram and then you just basically unhide them. So you'd right click and do unhide. That's an optional extra, but it just sometimes keeps your schedule network diagram completely clean from this content area here. I'm gonna bold this and obviously in here you type in the project name so let's just call it project alpha for now and then if i can spell project correctly um and then essentially what we're going to do to create the schedule network diagram is very very clever now we all know that schedule network diagram has to start or well, the early start always is zero so i'll just put in zero for now now what we're going to do to create the diagram is we're going to select all of well we're going to select the various activities but this is the little trick so let me select from f4 through to h6 Control c and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go we'll click here for now l5 i'm going to click home paste and we're going to click on linked picture now the reason why we do this is there's multiple reasons so firstly we can kind of drag it around which makes the creation process really easy but it's linked so that when it comes to updating this network diagram, it's effortless because you just have to type it in here. So let's just say the duration was five days, it's going to come across. And if we set this up using these kind of content areas and link pictures, it's very, very easy to update depending on the project. So that's why I'd recommend doing it this way. You don't necessarily have to, you could just copy and paste this, you know, as just a regular picture or even just as values. But as I say, the link picture does work particularly well. So let me create this, um, I'm going to bring it down here to give us a little bit of room up, uh, up above. Let us create a very, very simple schedule, schedule network diagram and I'll show you how to kind of build this out. Let's just say yours obviously is going to differ. But we're going to select activity two. We're going to copy it, control C or click copy here. I'm going to go in here, paste linked picture. We do the same for activity three. So let's just put that down here. Now again, you could be really particular with the number of squares in between and things like that, but I'm just kind of showing you uh, the process rather than the precise formatting at this precise moment in time. Let's just say we want activity four in here, link picture, and then we'll do activity five. So this is a very kind of basic schedule network diagram where certain activities are dependent on others. So let's do this here. Let's move this over a couple. The good news is with grid lines is you can kind of make sure they're all kind of aligned it just makes it look better visually. So you can do that. You can even start counting squares if you wanted to. Now, how do we connect this all together? So we all know now that let's just say uh, this is gonna start on day five and activity three would be the same. You would just type it in here. Can you see how that's updating? So it's really, really easy to do. Now we just need to create the directional arrows. So to do that is very simple. We just click insert, shapes, and then in the lines area we're looking for a one direction arrow or the, the the elbow arrow so we're going to select this and then if you hover over activity one you'll see these kind of circles appear we're going to want it from the right one here left click and drag all the way into activity two and then what we're going to do here is we're going to select the arrow we can change the color depending on what we want green can work well blue can work well but we're going to keep you know stick with the the black color theme here and then on the shape outline I'm going to suggest that we increase the weight to one point. We could even increase it a bit further than that, actually. We could go two and a, two and a quarter. That looks quite good. And then that's just to make it look kind of visually more striking and to, and to make it really, really clear. 
I'm going to select this, Control C, and then I press Control V. That will apply all the formatting. And then we can just do the same again and just make sure that is connected like that. And then Control C on that arrow, Control V, and it's put it in there, but I want that right in the center. And I want to make sure that is connected. I'm literally copying the formatting. Control V, and then just basically hover over the end of each of the arrow and then just make sure it's connected like that. And then this last one might be a bit tricky because we want a straight line, not an arrowed line. So we might need to create this one from scratch. So shape, we want a straight line, straight line. And then remember the font weight. So shape, outline, weight, two and a quarter. Now the beauty of making it like this is because this is all kind of pictures and it's all linked. If I select any any um, of the activities, you'll look, you'll see. Look, it's it's all kind of linked up, which is fantastic. So it's great like that. And if you wanted to move the whole schedule network diagram, you could select the activity, each activity, hold Control on your keyboard, Control, Control, Control. Again, it might be different on Mac. Left click and look, we've moved the whole diagram. And then if you did want to, you could always click on view and then remove the grid lines. So that can look fantastic as well. So that's how to create a schedule network diagram in Excel. I hope this video has been useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with that said, over to you, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.